everyone. Welcome to your PDN. This is Shubha. So as you know that we are on a race of reaching the target and we are completing the text completion soon. I am trying to solve one exercise every week with you. Now today's random exercise is exercise number 24th. Now it's also a one line statement and you have got five options with it, right? So please one more idea I want to tell every of the students who are preparing for GRE. See these are the words sometimes you are unaware about certain meaning of the words. Keep an extra notebook or keep preparing your notes so that whenever you have such kind of a question where the words or you can say any there is a options in repetition you are able to crack that hack, right? So let's get started with this exercise. The director inserted deliberate. We don't know. There's a director and he inserted. He inserted means he inserted something, entered something. Deliberate. Matlab deliberate means jaan booch kar. Usne kuch na kuch movie mein, kuch na kuch to cheez jaan ke ki hai. Pata nahi kya ki hai. Dash into the play. Kuch cheez usne jaan ke play mein enter ki hai. For example, ab ye bata rahe hai. Ye example hai. Jo usne jaan booch kar enter kiya hai. Hamlet typed his letters to Ophelia on a laptop. Now, Hamlet, apne, you remember Shakespeare's play? And it was approximately to 16th century. The one who are from, you can say, aware about the literature or something, who are good in novel reading and all that. So, this is a play, right? Hamlet. So, Hamlet ne Ophelia ko letters likhi on a laptop. Now, what is the difference letters likhi hai, laptop pe likhi hai. Lekin, kya us time pe laptop tha? They used to have a letters and they used to send it. Post office bhi bolta, toh bhi ek tarah ka ye tha ki that was, that was there. We would have a thought about it. Right? To abhi bol rahe, chithiyan likhi hai. Chithiyan kaise likhi hai? Laptop pe. Laptop pe chithiyan koon likhta hai? First think about it. So, ye thoda sa kya hai? This idea is not setting it right. Right? To usne to play mein aaj dalne ke liye dikha diya. Now, if someone says ki the kind of change we have, hana, animations, Ramayana, Mahabharat, now we are making it changes. So, sir, they have play mein change kar diya. Ab ye jo idea hai, ye kya hai? Dash into the play. Platitude, paradigm, neologisms, derivation, anachronism. Now, think, derivation, everyone knows. Derivation to hota hai, act of obtaining something from a source, hana. Hum kisi cheez ko source se deduce karte hai, lete hai. Lekin ispe to ek simple statement hai, hum koi idea receive ya conceive to nahi kar rahe hai. So, there is nothing like derivation. So, ye eliminate ho jata hai. Now, anachronisms, you remember, anachronisms is there, derivations, neologism. Neo word aata hi, new se hai. Jo koi cheez nai coined ki gai hai, koi naya word, kuch aisi coining, right? Koi expression hai, kuch new words hai. Lekin yaha pe, every word is very simple. Hamlet typed his letters to Ophelia on a laptop. Kuch new word hai, kuch nai vocabulary add hui hai, kuch bhi new wa hai. So, that is not neologisms also. To kuch neologism bhi usne insert nahi kiya hai. Paradigm kya hota hai? That is some kind of a standard, ideal. Platitudes kya hota hai? When there is some kind of a morality. Moral idea aap conceive kar rahe ho. Do you think isme kuch morality ka idea hai? To how do we know? Hame to is statement se idea lagana hai ki usne apne play mein kya kya cheeze dali hai. Right? To isne koi apna ek moral idea to nahi dala. Agar letters likh rahe hai, to that is a very normal statement. Paradigms and anachronisms. Paradigms means something that is model, something that is standard idea. Kuch standard idea usne dal diya hai. Anachronisms mean when there is a thing that is belonging to a period other than which it exhibits. Right? So, attributing to some other period. Matlab, do periods ka difference hona. Thik hai? To some other period. Ab khud socho ki yahaan pe standard ki cheez nahi lag rahe because letters aap kabhi bhi laptop pe nahi us tarah se likke jate. Us time pe thai nahi laptops in certain. So maybe he's trying to add certain anachronisms that is there are some kind of attributes, ideas which belong to certain other period lekin aap usko is period mein fix kar rahe ho. Right? So ye kya jate hai anachronisms. Like agar hume koi bahar purani movie ya kisi cheez ko review karna hooga to hum kya karenge yaar wo loog Letters likh rahe te, wo phone pe contact kar lete, kuch aisa kar lete. Maybe that time it was not there, right? So that is anachronism. When you try to fit some word which does not belong even to that century, that is anachronism. Don't forget this word, it's very important. Let's go for the explanation. Now it is 
डायरेक्टर डेलीवेट थिंग्स नॉट मैचिंग टाइम उस टाइम को मैच ही नहीं कर रही है द डायरेक्टर इंसर्टेड सम थिंग्स इन द रॉन्ग टाइम पीरियड मतलब उसको कुछ और लिखना चाहिए था लैपटॉप की जगह तो दैट इज मे बी ही एंटरिंग सम रॉन्ग इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑल्सो एनाक्रोनिज्म इज मिसप्लेसमेंट क्रोनोलॉजिकल एरर समथिंग दैट डज नॉट फिट इट्स टाइम पीरियड इफ यू से यू विल डायल योर स्मार्टफोन यू डोंट डायल योर स्मार्टफोन राइट तो देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन टू डिस कंप्यूटर वर्ड फ्लॉपी डिस्क अब मैं बोलू फ्लॉपी डिस्क लेकर आना पेन ड्राइव लेकर आना कुछ ऐसे पेन ड्राइव स्टिल इज कॉमन फ्लॉपी डिस्क इज नॉट Uh, these days the habit of introducing yourself to a new neighbor with a welcome gift has become an anachronism ab aap jao apne neighbors you don't even have an idea ki neighbors mein rehta kaun hai next you have neologism that is new word that has been recently added to a persons or groups vocabulary section mein right aur yahan pe koi word to hame new laga nahi smoke plus fog smoke kuch aise words bhi nahi add ho rahe the very simple words slang ya coinage kuch aise jaise whatsapp hai whatsapp ab bolte ho aap ha na you don't say how is you you simply say it like that how are you ko shorten kar diya aapne so that is neologism and the paradigm is means something that is a typical example of a model or something right so some kind of archetype koi ideal statement handsome and intelligent and kind trend is a paradigm of a perfect man ek perfect man ki definition hai ye and last is platitude something that has been said so often that it is not interesting any more प्लेटिट्यूड हो जाती है कोई स्टेटमेंट जो बहुत ज्यादा नॉर्मल हो चुकी है बिकॉज आई हर्ड योर प्लेटिट्यूड हंड्रेड टाइम्स इट मीन्स नथिंग टू मी ना कि एक स्टेटमेंट मैंने इतनी बार सुन लिया मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता इट्स बिकमिंग अ स्टैंडर्ड अ कॉमन थिंग फॉर मी एंड इट वॉज नॉट अ कॉमन थिंग राइट सो दैट इज वाई प्लेटिट्यूड इज ऑल्सो नॉट एर सो दैट वॉज ऑल दैट वॉज अ वेरी सिंपल एक्सरसाइज कीप ऑन सॉल्विंग नंबर ऑफ एक्सरसाइज इज मी एंड आई टेल यू सोन वी यू विल बी एबल टू क्रैक जी आर यू विद गुड स्कोर ऑल द बेस्ट कीप प्रिपेयरिंग एंड इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट्स डू ड्रॉप इन योर कमेंट्स Take care and have a nice day.